Frog's Monstrosity 14 door. Downloading. So let's have a look at this thing. I don't know what it's... Uh, well, there it is. Frog's Monstrosity. So let me grab Frog's original 14 door so you guys can see a side-by-side -side comparison. And we'll take both of these to Truck Night. And we'll see how they run side by side. And uh, it'll be... It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Oh boy. Yeah, I've never driven this before. So you guys are getting my literal, like, very first impressions ever. Of... Oh! Oh, God! Oh my God! What am I looking at? Um... That's not normal. This is gonna end one of two ways, right? I know. Okay, here's the normal one. Yeah, here's the normal one. And then... So, I'm gonna park this uh, near the start line. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to park the other one next to it. And hopefully the starting line is tall enough. I don't think it is, but we will find out. All right, stop engine. Yeah, how much do the tires cost? How do you fill the fuel tank? I don't know the answers to any of those questions. The tires? You know what? The tires, I'm looking at them now. They probably cost like, oh, I don't know. $20,000, like, <laughs> like, maybe more, like $30,000, I don't know. I mean, the difference, the difference is, like, stupid. Like, actually legitimately stupid. And, there, there's your side profile. There's your side profile, like, no difference at all. So, okay, I am going to run the monstrosity first, actually. Because normally I would run the other one first, but I just want to see what that, like, what happens with this thing. Yeet! Frog accused me of yeeting all of his trucks. Oh, you better believe I'm going to yeet the crap out of this one. In automatic mode, I mean, we're literally just, like, literally just running over everything. Look at the length of those, like, like, control arms and, like, traction bars. Stupid. Hello. Just drove over and through the freaking F-150s. God. Literally the biggest truck in the entire world of Mudrunner ever. I mean... These are just little bumps in the road to it. And it's still got the interior view. It's a house. Okay, how are we going to do this? This is a little confusing to me. But I think I have a solution. I think I have a solution. We'll use both at once. Or not. Oh my god, it won't even turn the wheels anymore. It's just like, I'm gonna die now. Like, oh my god, it won't pull with the winch. It won't do, like, anything. Which means we have to restart it. I did try to straddle the, um... Straddle the, like, the whole... Uh, straddle the width of the thing, but, like, it didn't... It didn't want to work. I love how it just jumps. That's, I'm sure that's, like... That's a bug or something. There's just like, like the way the mud runner physics system works. It puts off so much dust. It's literally a freaking dust storm. It almost fell over. I love how he literally just built a bunch of panels to cover the massive frame underneath, because that's literally all it is. The fat boy is better so far. Correct. Correct. Best contents, it's OG spin tires. 
I'll tell you what, best mod since OG spin tires. Like, holy crap, dude. Absolutely insane. Just looking at it, you feel like you're looking at a rolling house. Make short work of everything until you get up to the bridges, and then we'll just have to straddle the bridge, I guess. Or straddle two bridges. You know what it looks like from up top? A centipede with tires. Now we actually need some precision. Which slightly terrifies me. Ah, it fell off! And it fell off! Literally, it just... Yeah. Guarantee you it won't move now. Oh, yeah, it will. Wow, alright, we were able to fix it. That blows my mind. Easy, 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 easy. Go! Just go! I'm just gonna send it. Ah, I sent it and it worked! Okay, now for the for the lumber which it like literally goes over like their speed bumps. And there you have it. Like freaking sent it. Bongo, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Like, oh my god. Nightwolf, thank you for the follow. I'm trying to see if it'll do donuts. It won't really. It's like 70 liters per minute on fuel. I wish it was faster. Then we could do, like, really stupid stuff with it. I wonder what would happen if I just, like, all out yeet this. That worked better! I'm literally, for the first time ever, I'm gonna do the truck night track backwards. And then I'm gonna do it back the other way. I'm gonna do it back the other way, towing the old, um, the old 14 door. And then we'll go, like, have some fun on another map. It did weird stuff with more speed. Did it, did, like, did it literally, like, about tear itself apart? Because some of these big trucks do with more speed. Like, as they start really doing... I've seen some big trucks do weird things with the physics system. Like, it just doesn't like it at all. I love how we're going backwards back down the course like it doesn't even matter. It literally doesn't even matter. Like, oh my god. I cannot get over this freaking truck. It's the best thing ever. It's literally the best thing to ever happen. I'm gonna flip it over. Oh, it pulls a wheel, but it doesn't flip. Oh my god. I said, oh my god, so many times in this video. Or in this stream. But I don't really care because this truck is very much so worthy of it. I'm going to switch it to pull, so we have to pull it. Oh, God. That truck is just along for the ride now. I'm going to watch behind me and see what it does. I'm, like, genuinely nervous for it. Pops right up that like it's no big deal. It's, like, floundering around back there, and this truck doesn't even care. Uh, when we get to the other end, I'll check out the add-ons. But yeah, I'm literally gonna go over the F-150s while pulling the other 14 door. The game is like, uh, this wasn't supposed to happen. Like, straight up, the game is probably like, yelling at me internally right now. It's like, what are you doing? Now that we're the rock section, which we should make, um... Which we should be able to make short work of. At least very short work of, in my opinion. This is gonna be the bad part. Uh oh. Oh no. Can we work our way back? Oh, we've glitched it. Um, things are happening. Things are happening. 
Risky does need new internet. Apparently he claims it's good now and it's fixed, but we'll have to see about that. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try this again, why don't we? Now it might be able to back out. Yep, we can move it. We just gotta keep turning. Like, if we keep turning, it... Alabama at its finest, right? Yeah, it straight up won't go. Alright, we'll see you back in like 10 to 20 minutes, Tadpole. Sounds good. Oh. There we go. Alright. Round two... Oh, it's stuck. Oh, well, it was getting stuck anyway. It was getting high-centered. Move it a good ways away. Swap back, and then... Attach. Nope. God, that's so annoying. Oh my god, actually straddling the track itself works. Until that happens, and then... Well, until that happens and it doesn't care. Yes, it can make it. Yes, it can. Oh my god. Oh wow, that actually stopped it for a second though, like in its tracks. Jeez. Well, here we are. Can we knock that over? No. Oh well. Oh my god.